What's up, guys? We got a new Hobby Wing motor for the Chuggy. We're gonna open this thing up and check it out. This is a Hobby Wing Quick, uh, excuse me, Quick Run G2 uh, Chuggy size can uh, in a 2000 kV. It is a sensorless motor, um, and I'm gonna be running it with the XR8 uh, SCT ESC. So I will have to cut the wires which I am sure uh, will not cause any issue. I will cut them a little long so that, you know, I've got a little room to play with if I ever need to reinstall it or anything, or, you know, you maybe even reinstall the bullets or something. But um, this is a little unusual for a uh, competition chuggy because it's not a censored. But for the price of this thing, man, it was like 55 bucks on eBay. So... Now they have two variations and they have um, they have an ESC also, which I think you can get the combo for like a hundred and like ten bucks maybe, something like that. So they have it in a two thousand KV truggy can and a twenty six hundred KV buggy size can. Um, however, for unless they make a different KV, um, the twenty six hundred would not really you know I, I like uh somewhere around 2000 to really 1900 but i could probably use this in a in the buggy also so um i ran my first mugen buggy with a 2000 kv uh ghoul rc uh centerless motor and it did fine so this is probably really similar that one i've got the wires cut on it because i've you know i've had it for so long that was like the first one i've had that motor for like five years and it still works um but I've cut them and put different, I've installed that motor in so many different uh, applications. Right now I've got it in um, a Chuggy that I have for sale uh, on eBay for pretty cheap. So check that out. All right, so let's open this thing up. All right, cut the end. So hold on a second, let me. All right. Well. information pamphlet so they got the wires running out the case here it's not a very good uh, unboxing I need something to really hold the camera and I have something but I'm just lazy all right guys so check that thing out It feels pretty heavy. feels pretty solid. It doesn't actually have the raised fins on it. It's kind of got depressed areas or, you know, recessed little cutouts. Let me, um, excuse that. That's my daughter running around upstairs. Hold on a second. I'm, uh, I want to measure the diameter. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about that. All right. So let's see. Oh, battery cover came off. So this motor has got a 42 inch di or 42 millimeter diameter. So I'd say that this motor is actually bigger um, than most because this motor here. The fins are 42, but the motor itself is like 40 right on the dot. So <clears throat> I like these Hobby Wing motors, but they do have the rotor issue, um, you know. So let me get this thing installed and... Um, and uh, we'll give it a little test run here in a, in a little bit. But so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna cut these wires. I will keep the ends just in case I ever want to maybe put the bullets back on if I ever get an ESC to use uh, that you know that these would fit into. But for the one I'm using, I'm gonna have to unsolder it from the ESC and solder these directly to it. It's got the ABC. And I think it's actually in the opposite direction. Usually ain't it A, B, C from left to right? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. 
All right, guys. Well, we're going to uh, check this thing out. I think it should do pretty well. Um, I really believe that censored motors are rated. I could be wrong. Um, but we'll see what, what we think about it once we get out racing with it. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.